a couple of years ago, I started using the trout magnet a lot. It's a 164th ounce jig head with a size eight hook, pretty small lure. By now, I'm sure everybody's heard about those and they were just, I mean, they've been getting really popular. Everybody's using them. I love using them, catching a lot of fish. Well, I got something new that I'm gonna be trying. It's a mini trout magnet. It's one 200th ounce jig head. Um, so this, this is, you see how tiny this thing is compared to the other one. Uh, the smallest line I could find is two pound line. So I'm gonna try fishing in the creek with them these little one, 200 ounce jig heads, these little uh, mini magnets, and see if I can catch a fish. Oh, whoa, something bit at it right away. This thing cannot cast very far. And I gotta remember, it's got a real small hook, so I'm gonna have to be real easy on setting the hook. Oh, got one, got one. First one on it. Get over here, get over here. All right, just what I expected. Some little shiners and stuff. Man, this hook is small. It's like a little, people, some people use this for fly fishing and stuff, but that's a tiny little lure. It makes that fish look like a giant. Oh yeah, look at that fight. Number two, red breast. Oh, barely hooked him. This, the thing's so small, it barely hooked it. Well, that was two fish pretty quick. Oh, got some. Man, it's so small that they can just barely pick it up and you barely know they're on there. A little bluegill. Hold on there. Three species in about three minutes. Another something, wow! I'm trying to be real easy, even these little small fish, gotta be real easy to jerk it out. Nice little bluegill. Man, this thing is wearing them out. I really didn't expect to be catching this many fish, especially like in the winter. Let's see if I can catch something around the buggy. Oh yeah, they're hiding around that buggy. Oh, good shiner. This line is so small. I'm sure you've seen a uh, two pound line before. Tide Pig Patrol caught, caught a huge bass on some two pound line. Probably not gonna catch no big stuff, but you still gotta be easy even on these little ones or it'll break real easy. Let's go back to the cart, see if there's more fish hanging around it. Of course there is. Oh, come here, come here. Good bluegill. Good little bluegill. Man, it's amazing that they go for this little, man, it's barely hooked in there. Go for this tiny little thing. That bluegill compared to that little lure. There's another one. Oh no, he went in the buggy. Get out of there, get out of there. Little guy, little bluegill. Just living around the Save-A-Lot shopping cart. Oh, there's one. I'm being real, real easy with this. I'm letting them set the hook themselves. And I haven't had a single one that I've had to dig the hook out of their mouth. I'm just letting it sink real slow, just kind of trying to keep the line a little bit tight and let, let it pull. As soon as I feel a little pull, I'm just barely setting the hook. Oh, gotcha. Didn't have to set the hook. I know a lot of people are gonna look at catching these tiny fish and they wouldn't even, you wouldn't even think to throw a lure like this. Like, why would I wanna waste my time doing that? It's a lot more fun than you think, especially I love fishing in a place where people driving by, they're like, that's not where you fish. You go to the river or the lake to fish. And I'm like, no, I'll just go right here, five minutes from my house and catch about 20 fish in 30 minutes. Oh yes, yes. That's what I'm looking for, some tiny ones. Now, there's a monster. Look at that little, some kind of, I think it's a little shiner. That's crazy, crazy. Oh yeah, there's a little guy, a little bluegill. When you're using a little lure like this, every hole's got a potential catch. 
You don't pass up a spot, no matter how deep it is. Oh, yes. What is this? Get over here. Come on. Come on. And then these fish feel like monsters. Another bluegill. Another bluegill. These bluegill are quite pretty good. And all the people driving by have no idea. I'm down here wearing out the fish. Four in a row on these little bluegill. In February, when all the fish are shut down in the creeks. Well, that's what I thought anyways. Five in a row. <laughs> Man, that's cool. He's getting a little there, but it's, uh, what was that, six in a row? You know, just six catches in a row. Woo! <laughs> it's too little for him, they have to bite it. Look at that guy. Man! That's a large mouth. Yes, it is. Wow, that's a good one. That easy. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could catch one. I, I'm pretty sure this being small, it, it's not the l bigger fish aren't going after it. Well, as you can tell, the rain came in, but uh, I fished for an hour or less, probably less than an hour, and um, fishing with a little micro uh, mini or the mini magnet. And you can only cast it at probably about 15 feet, but this creek's not only maybe 10, 15 feet wide. And uh, the fish were tearing it up. You know, obviously it's gonna be a ton of little bait fish. I don't know how many total there was, but I'll add that up. And uh, it, was, it was like sometimes, that one time I caught six in a row. And uh, sometimes every other cast there's something hitting on it. But obviously you're not gonna use this lure to catch some giants if you're only about catching big fish. It's not the lure for you. But you can go out there and catch some bait fish or you can just go have fun or you can just find basically any place where there's water and you can almost guarantee you're going to catch something off this little lure. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you've got any other lures or suggestions, I love trying out these little things. I always love the trout magnets. And uh, I, think, I think I'm going to be using this, maybe put on some one pound line if I could, if I could ever find some. And uh, it'll be a great time just go out and catch some little fish and have a good time. And that's what it's all about, having fun. I enjoy catching the small ones. So thanks for watching.